Take number one, two more to go, and 12 more hours. See y'all, thanks. So that's Arizona. The next is Seattle. Right, so here's where we are so far. We started in Tulsa, my pickup truck to the airport, took a plane to Phoenix. We've now made it to Seattle, and now we've taken a truck, a plane, a bus, and a train. We're about diversity on the spare hunt. Y'all, Lindsay's mind is blown. He's having to order off the menu from his phone. He's really confused. <laughs> He ain't lying. <laughs> Finally, last stop. Actually, last stop is the bed. <laughs> I'm worn out, man. I'm getting closer, though. So, I don't know if we're calling this uh, day one or travel day two. Uh, we got in last night about, uh, I think it was about two o'clock. Maybe by the time we got to bed, it was about two o'clock. Lindsay may be a little guy. He can snore. <laughs> so I had a couple hours of sleep, came down uh, to the lobby here at the hotel where we're at, and uh, got a little computer work done, got some uh, videos organized, which is something I'm not used to doing. Usually Eddie or Ashley had always been doing that for me, so I'm having to learn new stuff. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so today um, we've got to go get our license and tags so we can go to the game and fish. And then. Um, yeah, then we get in a float plane at about 3.30 and head to where our uh, outfitter, Alan, is. We won't hunt today because you can't hunt the same day that you fly. And then we start hunting tomorrow, weather permitting. Lindsay just had to have some snacks and apple fritters. So we went for a walk and it's raining. Lindsay's stomach got the best of him. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are walking the rain. Now, if y'all seen our last Alaska video you know we were just here in May April and May uh, down in Homer and we titled that one the king of Alaska well the king is the weather and it's still king uh, a little rough so one thing you have to plan on whenever hunting especially in the fall in Alaska is change and be patient so we're being taught that we're actually not meeting up with our outfitter until tomorrow but they're going to get us closer and uh, we're actually flying to uh, a little cabin somewhere and where there's a boat and then that boat is going to take us to our boat that we're hunting out of tomorrow so that's where we're flying to because where our hunting boat is the weather is too bad Y'all, sometimes when plans don't go according to plan or things don't go according to plan, what am I trying to say? Uh, it's not always necessarily a bad thing. So we, like I said earlier, when we took off, we couldn't get to the boat where Atlan, our outfitter is. So they actually brought us to um, some cabins or actually, I think another outfitter. We, we just met him, Paul and his wife and his daughter. And we are in Gull Cove and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. It is just amazing out here. Yeah, it is. It's calm, it's peaceful, it's quiet. Look at this water, y'all. We weren't, we weren't supposed to come here 
uh, or at least not this early. Uh, and we're just waiting on it. I think Atlan's actually coming here. I'm not for sure. We'll find out what the plan is here in a little bit. But anyway, we're here for the night. We're just hanging out. We couldn't hunt today anyway or this evening because you can't hunt when you fly or the same day that you fly. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is a very cool diversion out there. So anyway, we're going to check this place out. We'll show it to you as we go along. Oh, here, let me show you this. So that's me and Lindsay's cabin um, up there where we'll be staying tonight. And then uh, Tony's is right over there. Actually, you, can, you probably can't see him with the, with the GoPro here, but he's actually taking pictures on, off of his balcony. With me? What's that? Y'all want to come up and have a beer with me? Oh, man, twist my arm. We See, we love this place already. They're offering beer. Let's go. Song, what's his name? Who sings Alice's Restaurant? Arlo Guthrie. Arlo Guthrie. Okay, well, I got to take a picture. Good stuff, huh? <laughs> yep, just arrived. Hey, good morning. So I think we can officially call this day one. Uh, we are in Gulf Cove. Just got up this morning after uh, after a decent night's sleep. Uh, Lindsay still snores a lot. So anyway, I'm, I'm tired, but I wanted you all to see this view. I don't know if it's too dark or not. Let's see if you all can see this. It's about um, six o'clock in the morning. This view does not suck. See ya. See you in a few days. Yep. Here we go. So we can officially say we are on day one now. It's been uh, travel day, travel day. Where are you going, Lindsay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a backflip. <laughs> so we are on the y Yacobi. Is that how you pronounce it? Is that, is that right? Something like that. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we're on a big boat. And now we're actually heading to meet Atlan, our outfitter. We'll get his boat. I don't know how much further we have to go after that. We're going to start bear hunting at least by this evening. So enjoy the view. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's uh, Atlan right there. That's who we're. That's who we're meeting up with. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I think Lindsay probably has to swim over and, and bring the other boat over to us. I'm not sure. Yeah, things are getting real now. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you. First trip to Alaska, buddy. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty awesome so far, man. Not bad, huh? Beautiful up here. Yeah. you in here it's like 80 degrees in here <laughs> oh it is warm in it's here warm and little snow here let's let's give them a give them a tour real quick so this is the uh the honeymoon suite that tony and i have so there's one bed and all the way over here <laughs> this is the other bed close quarters <laughs> we're gonna become good friends tony <laughs> Is there room for my suitcase? Let's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> go out there. <laughs> Get all this. There's our heater. Hey, we got heat. Yep. Hey, we're a, we're a, we're a step up from a tent. <laughs>
There we go. Was it one high? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to do one more on this cold board. Do one more just to check it out. So um, earlier we got our um, rifles sighted in. The, uh, the Lupo is in good shape, put two side by side, and uh, it's all ready to go. Uh, we got us a little nap in, and now we're with uh, Atlan back there running the boat. We got Lindsay up there. And I'm talking a little quiet because uh, we're hunting. We're actually heading up uh, to um, uh, a little area uh, a, a salmon stream and we're going to start hunting so uh, anyway first day and of course it's raining but it is Alaska we expected it we're prepared for it and uh, I get to do this with a really cool dude man right there I'll tell you more about him later but we've been buddies since uh, 2006 uh, whenever he started helping us out uh, running the camera for a TV show so it's been a long fun journey wouldn't want to do it with anybody else So he anchored the boat up, anchors out there in deeper water. And more likely when we come back where I'm standing right now, it's just gonna be dry ground. So anyway, we'll see. I'm not young from Oklahoma. I'm not used to high tide and low tide. No, this is not the Blair Witch Project. I'll give you a better update whenever, um, whenever we have light. We're not turning the generator on just because we don't want to spook bears, I'm guessing. We hiked in about like half a mile along the river, and it was really weird going into something's dining room that can eat you, uh, and we were looking for them. We did see one bear, uh, which was uh, really cool, but it was just for a, a brief second. Uh, and then we're heading out this morning here in about 30 minutes. Like I said, once it gets daylight, and if it's an area that um, I can talk a little bit, I'll give you a better update. Otherwise, when we get back to the boat, uh, I'll let you know what's up. And sorry for the really poor <laughs> lighting. It's just dark in here, and I'm using a lamp. So anyway, see y'all here in just a little bit. Morning one, but day two. Typically, we didn't get done the first morning. That's Lindsay and Atlin in front. Over there where I was just pointing, that's where we're going. There's a, a river system or stream system that goes to the left for the elevation, and then there's one that goes to the right. We take the left, Tony's taking the right.
it. All right, so no, Tony hasn't been drinking. <laughs> so I feel like we have. Yeah. Yeah, we may have the end results of <laughs> drinking too here before I'm not, too long. I'm not getting up to walk. <laughs> so we're moving. We're going to a uh, different spot. I have no idea where. But yeah, we're out in the open ocean. We got some pretty good rollers going. I don't know how big they are, but they're big enough. They're big enough. Mm hmm. Make everybody look like they're drunk. I'm walking. This is evening too. We moved to a new spot. Went through some pretty good ways. And now we're gonna head up there with Atlan. They said there was a world record up there waiting on us. So we're gonna we're gonna go get him, hold him to his word. You ready? Oh yeah, we ready. Alright, let's go get him. sows. One's got two baby cubs that were probably just born this January. We're going to see if we can get by them. Then there's another pool up around the corner. See if there's any different bears on it. See if we can find us a big old boar. We're on the move. Sal, 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 Sal,
up up in the timber, which they often do. Sound of cubs. Sound of two little cubs. It's like 80 yards. We almost walked right up on them. Fortunately, Alan saw one of them. It's two little bitty baby cubs, too. She'd be pissed off. Plus, Alan got the eagle eyes at it. Yeah, good thing. Holy smokes. All right, that didn't last very long. We're right back where we were. We went up the top of the hill and just about walked up on a sleep and sound her cubs. Alan was maybe 60 yards from her. She was passed out, never knew we were there, but one of the cubs saw us and was just looking at us, little bitty babies. And uh, we backed out to about 100 yards and regrouped. We said there's too many bears to try to get to where we want to go. The stream splits up here. We were wanting to look up the other part of it. We can't get there. There's one thing we don't want to mess with. It's a cow and a cow, a sow and her, uh, baby cubs so anyway we're just back where we're we're gonna sit here until the wind switches and then we'll have these out bear was at seven yards straight below us he got a little bit away from the bank and he smelled us we thought he was going to charge straight up to where we were but he went down the beach just a little bit and then went up Winded us. I thought he was gonna come up about four feet away. He was like seven yards away. Yeah, that was pretty neat. So here's, here's what's weird about that 
to me is you got this giant eight foot bear down there. He's at seven yards from us and he smells us and he hauls ass. Yeah, that's what I hope for. But uh, <laughs> I guess we prefer that than the other. But uh, yeah, they just, that's how they're built basically. They usually, when they sm smell us, they, they run away. It's when you, you know, like yesterday or even this morning when we were up on those sat, that's how they're, you know, when they can't smell you, that's when they, that's when they'll come after you. Yeah. Because they don't know what you are. Yeah, that, that could have been ugly this morning. Yeah. Yeah, or, or in last night. Yeah. Me so, here, I wasn't sure. I almost thought that bear was going to come right up this trail right next to us. Yeah, let's show them that. So, Lindsay, come here. Keep the camera rolling. So, that bear was right there at the edge of the water. So, like about seven, about seven yards. He came out just a little bit and winded us and he was trying to you can see he's trying to decide which way to go and he came up come over here watch your step though there's a way up right here right where i'm pointing <laughs> like <laughs> two yards from where we were likely he decided not to come up that way he went up the shore just a little bit so that's how close we were to that dang pair <laughs> Yeah, I thought he was going to, yeah. Someone waiting pants, so they're not chest waders. So I told him that we're gonna cross some water that goes up to your belly. Let's see what he does. He's a little feller too, so it may not take much. Big, big Ricky back here. I promise you one thing, brown bear come charging in. See him? That fool's headed the other way. The bear's gonna be scared? Yeah, bear ain't coming on. Hey, I told you we was gonna hit some belly deep water today. Oh yeah. You got them little pants on. <laughs> hey, yo, we're doing a lot of walking. Lindsay's having to take about two steps to our lawn. He tells everybody he's 5'10", but he's really closer to 5'6". <laughs> Lindsay couldn't get the big camera up in time. 
So hopefully at least you guys have seen. But we're literally walking bear trails. Make sure pay attention. start anyway. So our uh, first pair of man soon as we got on the river system. But he's a, a small boar. Uh, Atlan says he's probably only about seven foot, which is a foot smaller than the one we saw yesterday. So we're going to keep moving on. That was a uh, hot hike. How about that? Devil's weed or whatever that stuff's called. The ones all over it. Yeah. There's a bunch of it. Exciting, but on 
here's what the pub is. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Don't need very much long range school, long range skills. Places that I don't bend so well. These guys are a lot younger than me.
All right, so I need y'all to be honest. Who was secretly hoping for me to take a fall in the river? I know somebody was. Leave us a comment below. Tell me who you are. That way I know who to make comments back at for hoping I was gonna fall in the water. That water's cold. What are you getting there, Lindsay? What are you getting? Can you see them? Yeah. Them suckers are bombing. I'm just gonna stay here the rest of the day eating these suckers. Hang out in that field. It's good stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very nice one. I got me a booner right here. Maybe my trophy though. I don't know. They I'm both drop me. Blue, blue guy. Good dark one right there. They're kind of like a, a raspberry. They're really good. I can pick a bucket full of these things. I'm sure the bears like them too. Well, the mother load. Oh man, look at that. Heck yeah. Yeah. Alan, Alan just now introduced us to these. Never heard them, they're called lagoon berries. They're good. Mm, that one's sweeter than the first one. So I've got I've got a correction for y'all. They're not lagoon berries. They're nagoon berries with an N. And second, apparently they're a laxative because <laughs> me and Lindsay are we're having we're having issues, right, Linz? Yeah. And I'm over here trying to pee. You make me all nervous. He <laughs> can't go. Yeah. And here's our our porta potty, by the way. Whoop. six morning six we're going back up to where you saw us yesterday when we were crossing the logs we've got a pair about 200 yards but it's not very big <laughs> freaking goofball Yeah, she's gonna hit this trail. Yeah. That's a good 
fucking bear. She's an older bear, wasn't she? Yeah, so she just didn't pass the pecker check. <laughs> so nice blocky head. She had those small looking ears because her head was so big. So I don't know how big she was. But anyway, she was good looking. If she'd passed the pecker check, would have sent some lead that way. If she'd have had a pecker, you'd have shot her? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jackie. Done with morning six, we saw nine bears if you count four cubs. We had two sows, uh, each had a set of twins. And uh, then we saw a couple of other sows. And on the way out, we saw a really nice bear, except it was a sow. She had a big old block head on her, air, air, ears. We're getting fogged up here, sorry. Ears look small, but she didn't pass the pecker check, so. We let her go. We're heading back to the boat, get some breakfast and a nap, and we're moving to a new location, going back to the uh, first place that we started out at. And Atlan's just waiting for me to shut up so he can start the engine. He didn't know he can go ahead and start it. <laughs> See? Ah. <laughs> like one, one pulls. <laughs> Evening six coming soon. Yeah, look at this. This is all jellyfish that we just now are over the top of. There are thousands and thousands of them. This is insane. So I thought it was the bottom of the uh, of the ocean. This is crazy. We don't see that in Oklahoma, do we, Lindsay? No. <laughs> no. Insane. Evening six in a brand new area. Uh, I think Tony has actually sat here before, saw a big, uh, big sow with uh, some cubs. Really cool looking area. There's lots of seagulls, which means that there's fish, and if there's fish, that means that there's bears. So we're hoping we'll have uh, changed some luck tonight, and hopefully this is an area with all boys and not girls like what we've been seeing. So we'll see, let's go get them. That Atlan the way pretty pretty good, man. Thank 
Good to get you guys. What was it, Tony? Couldn't have been more perfect. Great setup. You know, we saw a couple of bears when we first got there. And uh, and we were about to take a shot. And uh, and I was willing to take that shot. It was a good bear. It was a good trophy. It may not have been a most amazing, great trophy, but I didn't need that to make this an amazing trip. Yeah. I'm telling you, it was just an amazing, amazing effort. So I was about to take man. that shot. I was about to take that shot, and Ricky said, "There's another bear behind it." And I waited, and I said, "You know." Then they asked me if I wanted to take whichever one I wanted. They were literally walking behind each other. Well, the second bear behind was pushing, pushing, pushing the first bear, and then the first bear was literally at about 40 yards away walked past me and then the other bear from 150 yards started coming in and even up to 100 yards couldn't take a shot at 100 yards he was just walking right towards me i couldn't shoot at it because he was just facing me and at about 60 yards i asked if i could take the shot because i had the shot and they gave me the go ahead and it went down it, they just it go down went straight down t about 10 yards and that was it it wow. reared up went down and that was it that 375 put it on him, huh? That 375 Ruger did the job. Awesome, it man. was awesome. Congratulations. And I couldn't have done it. You know what? I may hunt bears, but these are the real bear hunters, are <laughs> my guides. <laughs> they are good. It huh? was amazing. Yep. Does that mean we get drinks some whiskey tonight? Irish whiskey, baby! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> good job, Tony! <laughs> Tony, you didn't just settle for something. That's a good one. That's yeah. an awesome one. Where's the uh, yeah. pot? Let's get the paws and show them the, the paws. Uh, I'll dig around so we find one first. Oh, <laughs> it's still warm. That we might feel now. It was awesome. I loved it. The whole experience was awesome, man. The whole experience was awesome. Look at that. morning so it's, it's day seven tony got his bear last night and we're actually back at the spot where he got his bear and we've already seen a bear got the boat parked and uh, did you say day seven day seven yeah morning seven and uh, anyway we've already spotted a bear hey, we're getting ready to go and see what it is it was like 1200 yards away so we got ways to go but anyway it's on So we got ourselves in a little bit of a situation. I'm up here on this ledge and we've got this river in front of us. I don't know if you can see way up there is the boat. The tides come up too much and we can't uh, we can't get across. So we're either gonna have to go try to find a way or we gotta wait for the tide to go down before we can get in. So but we did just see something really cool. Two uh, seals just came up this river and chased uh, salmon right in front and literally just caught them right below us. We got some footage we'll show you guys that turned up pretty cool. But now we gotta find a way across the river. Cross open water in the skiff and then 
had to come back from the little boat because we couldn't hunt because it was too rough out there. Now we're in the big boat trying to get to another protected area. And uh, I know it's probably hard to tell here, but we're rocking and rolling uh, sideways out there because we're not going into the waves, I guess just because of where we're going. So we're, we're cruising back and forth. We're trying to get to a new area that's a little bit more protected. It's closer back to the cabins, which will be our, our final destination for the float planes to pick us up. Uh, it's supposed to be about a three hour ride, uh, which if it's like this the whole way, it'd be interesting to see how everybody does. <laughs> We'll keep you updated. Yeah, see, they give you an idea how much we're swinging. Oh, <laughs> Golly, that's that's got to be a sign. Hey, I've never seen a double one that strong ever, or a single one that strong ever. Like, but look, look, look it, at it's it. coming at the end of the boat. It's right there at the look end of the boat. Look at it in the water. You can see it like that. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is pretty cool. This has got to be some type of sign. Oh, yeah. I don't know what, but it is. It's a good one. Are you our pot of gold, Lindsay? Man, that's pretty, <laughs> pretty awesome right there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I've never seen it like that. It's the evening of day eight. All right, so if y'all saw our last Alaska video, we were black bear hunting out of Homer going across Kachemak Bay, and we called that video King of Alaska, or the King of Alaska. Obviously, the weather being the king, because uh, it kicked our butts on that trip. And it still holds true for brown bear hunting uh, in the fall, too. So our first three days here, we had good weather. We had rain for a little bit, and then stopped when we had some good weather. We saw probably 30 five plus bears in the first three days passed on a couple of boars thought man we're seeing so many bears that not gonna be a problem here we are on the end of day eight and uh, we're still going this is what we've been dealing with so we got two more days to go to get it done we're gonna go make a move go up river and see if we can get on some bears
Holy <laughs> shit. Holy smokes, man. That thing is giant, isn't it? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> Walking down the trail, I was like, man, I'm 90% sure he's a boy. <laughs> that holy shit, look at that thing. Wow. Yeah. He's a toad. Oh, yeah. Fat sucker, isn't he? God, he's a toad. Oh, yeah, the toad's perfect. Man. <laughs> I was trying whenever he came out after Lucas hollered at us. I was trying not to look at how big he was. I was just trying to look behind his shoulder. Yeah. And all I wanted to focus was like looking at antlers. I didn't want to shoot his antlers off. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I didn't catch a big. Yeah, he's just a prime bear. He's got some bears and yeah, beauty. Big friend. Yeah. Look at that, Lindsay. Hold it upright. That's a surprise to get you to. I'm gonna have to jump on the camera. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, dark too. Yeah. Like gut on the that dark color. Yeah, it's beautiful hair. Man. Boy, he's got a noggin on him, don't yeah, he? Sure does. Wow. Man, I can't thank you guys enough. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah, no. Woo! Is that rainbow, man? Yeah. Is that Wind double rainbow? rainbow. So yeah. rainbow bear. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the whole hunt is getting up hurt. Yeah, hunting hard and yeah, just uh, kept after it. Dude, yeah, we got we got the full full experience yeah. on on this one. A little bit of everything. Yeah, including uh, uh, change of plans from day one, having to go go into uh, yeah. Gold Bay. Yeah, Gold Cove. Stay the night where or Gold Cove where we hadn't planned on staying the night. And, up and there, right here. This is the biggest one we've encountered, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. But yeah, real prime bear. He's not the one. All right. So here's what's up. And here's what's happened. So we got our bear last night. I'm gonna say let me get this. At least see a little bit. So we got the bear last night, and ended up being a, a bit of a, a rodeo. And we'll tell you more about how it happened here, here in just a little bit. Lindsay's falling down the boat. Uh, so if y'all noticed last night when we came in, we had trouble getting through just because the water was so shallow. We kept hitting gravel banks. It was low tide. And uh, not the same story this morning. Last night, rained all night, stormed pretty hard. And now the river's literally, shoot, four or five times the size of what it was. And you see it's all muddy. Last night it was all clear and pretty. It and it stormed uh, so hard it was dragging our boat and anchor. Yeah. We had to move. Yeah, yeah. So on the big boat on the morrow last night, uh, it, we were we were dragging anchor just because it was it was storming so hard. So anyway, completely different picture. We got the bear down, uh, thanks to uh, Lucas and, and Atlan's help. They found him way up in some thick alders, which we're getting ready to go to right now. Uh, got him down. We got him uh, gutted. We did some uh, pictures, actually. So we we got him field dressed and we uh, did some pictures and uh, opened him up so that he would uh, cool down and not ruin uh, any meat and not loosen the, the hair. So anyway, now we're going back in and going to get him skinned out, or I should say these guys are going to the, the professionals and get him skinned out and uh, get him loaded up and we'll go back to the boat and then we go back to the lodge. So let's go find the bear. <laughs> Man, what an adventure this has been. This has been for me a huge actually probably the top of my bucket list doll sheep was up there but i don't know if i can do a doll sheep hunt anymore so brown bear list and we could not have asked for a better adventure this was just an absolute blast um i don't even go to all the details i'll tell you what happened last night and then we'll, we'll do some more later so uh last night was our eighth night it was again pouring down rain and uh we actually came around a bend in this river and uh, Atlan spotted a bear right away, but all you could see was this part of the of the bear because he was sitting in this deep pool and he was kind of catching stuff that was going by. So we sat there and watched him. He got just after a few minutes and just kind of wandered off. And we sat for probably a full 25 minutes. I'm itching, I'm wanting to go. I was like, let's go get him. I'm not the experienced bear hunter that these guys are. So I was like, no, let's just be patient. Let's just sit here and, and, and watch and see, you know, see what happens. 
And finally, after about 25 minutes, I was like, okay, let's go. We're gonna sneak up uh, a back creek and come around and see if, if maybe he was feeding uh, upriver. And we got up and I mean, literally took two steps and Atlan spins around really quick. He heard Lucas, I didn't even hear Lucas. He's like, he's right there. And we turn around and the bear is just straight across the river from us. He was like maybe, I don't know, 65, maybe 75 yards or so. And of course we were out of position because we're standing. Lindsey's already got his camera picked up. And so we have to wheel back around and we just kind of walk up. And the wind is not in our favor now. The wind's blowing, fortunately, at kind of an angle. And the bear jumps in the river and like, that's it, man. He went at us and he's taken off, but he was actually going after a, a salmon. And he did that, missed the salmon, and he looks up and he sees us. And he does a 180 and starts to leave. So I send one right away. And you guys will see it now in the, in the impact. It looks like, uh, you can just, go, just tap the screen. On the, the impact, I, it, I hit the water, but we're gonna show you here when we skin him out. Uh, is actually a really, really good shot. He went up the bank. Atlan sent one uh, with his 416. We're not too sure if we hit him or not. Again, we'll find out whenever, um, whenever we get him skinned out. And then Atlan's like, hit him again. And you'll see in the video, man, there's just this huge dark spot uh, on the bank, which is also dark. And I'm thinking it's the bear. And so I sent another one here, thwack. I was like, oh man, I got him again. I hit him twice. He's got at least two in him, probably three. He's done. Anyway, you see in the video that all it was was the dark bank. I hit mud because <laughs> the, the bear was already gone. He came up. Uh, Atlan and Lucas uh, asked me and Lindsay to, to stay back. We didn't argue one bit whatsoever. <laughs> we, we stayed back and uh, got up in here and, and uh, heard, heard another shot. They'd snuck up on him. He was, he was laying back this way just a little bit. Atlan uh, put another one in him and uh, he took off running and expired right here. And so... The end of the story is I got a bear of a lifetime. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Biggest bear we've seen in the entire trip. We've seen probably 50 bears. I'm telling you more about that later. But anyway, I'm super grateful, very blessed. I get to check something off my bucket list and I got to do it with my best buddy, Lindsay. So good trip. And uh, we'll give you more details when we get back to the lodge. We got to get this thing, or I say we, these two guys got to get this thing skinned out and uh, get back to the Mara and, and we'll head back to uh, Gulf Cove. had brown bear before but we're gonna give her a go and see what we can make with it man it's almost a wrap we're heading back to the Mara these guys got this thing all skinned out we took a quarter off we took a back strap and uh <laughs> we're heading back to the Mara and then we're heading back to uh Gulf Cove get us a hot shower hot meal butcher up that hind quarter time to go home <laughs>